Today, I want to encourage you to keep going. Our adversary, Satan, the devil, will often use traumatic or disappointing memories of our past to silence us or keep us stagnant. It's a fear tactic. The memories from past traumatic experiences can trigger anger, shame, or guilt that discourages us or causes us to withdraw and hide away. So, I want to encourage you today to keep going. Don't allow Satan's fear tactics to cause you to retreat from the presence of God or discourage you from operating in your God-given purpose. Matthew chapter 5 verses 13 to 16 says that we are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, then how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. We are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. We are salt and light. Satan's agenda is to dull our taste and dim our shine, and he will use shame, trauma, and fear, all in an attempt to convince us that we are stale, or that God can no longer use us. But we come against those thoughts right now in the name of Jesus. We come against fear, shame, insecurity, and every other lie from Satan that aims to discourage us from operating in our purpose. Many of us already know what God has called us to do, but we're not doing it because we've allowed the adversary's lies to silence us or to keep us stagnant. I want to encourage you to get up and get busy in your God-given purpose. Go forward in the full confidence that you are a marvelous work of God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Our healing is in our purpose. Our peace is in our purpose. When we are busy in our God-given purpose, we don't have time to sit around and mope about the past. That is why Satan wants to keep us stuck in pity. It is all a part of his evil agenda to hinder the advancement of the kingdom of God. So let your light shine because God has put a work in you that is going to help motivate or inspire someone else. Yes, you need to be seen and heard so that God will be glorified through the works that he put in you. Don't stop. Don't slow down. Keep going.